the Submit and Cancel buttons are widgets and can be found by expanding the Widgets section of your form from the Contiva Forms Anywhere dashboard. The Widgets section is located under the Form Designer tab and can be expanded by clicking Add a Widget. Now the main difference between the Submit and Cancel buttons are that the Submit button will always post to your SharePoint list, while the Cancel button will never post to your SharePoint list. You can control the basic appearance of these buttons as well as the basic behavior. To add the button to your form, you just drag and drop it. So I'm going to drag the Submit button over to my form, place it where I want, and release it. And there it is. To control the appearance and behavior of these buttons, you just click on it to set the properties. The properties dialog will appear on the left and you can start filling this information out. So starting at the top, we have the default display. Do I want to show or hide this button? By default, I want to show it. I have the type of button. Now your buttons can either be a button or it can be a link text. If you specify link, then you will want to provide the link text. That will be what the actual hyperlink says. And then optionally, you can select an image. If you want to use a nice looking image that represents your submit button. In that case, you'll want to provide the URL to the image that the form is to use. I'm just going to say use a button. And if you select button, whatever you type here is what will appear on the button. So I'll say go. Next is the alignment. I can align it center, left, or right. Then we have the submit form option. Now this is where we're getting into the behavior of the form. What do you want it to do when they click submit? Obviously it's going to write this data to your SharePoint list, but what else? The options are I can show thank you text. And if you select that, you just type in whatever text you want it to show here. Thanks. This is a contact us form. So I'm going to say, we will contact you soon. And I can control it, the look and feel. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. He's the H1 tag on there. Now, you can also say, I want to go to a landing page. This comes in handy when you have a special thank you page or you have a part two of your form you want to land them on. And all you do there is specify the URL to the desired landing page. You can also get a little bit more technical here and populate where it goes dynamically using a query string parameter or even based off of a list field that's on your form determine where the submit button actually takes them. We're going to leave it simple. We're just going to say thank you text. And here's the text I'm going to display. Now, if we scroll down a little bit further, you will see after I submit it, what do you want to happen? Do you want to display the form or not? You can toggle that between yes and no. Do you want to fade the, the message after 10 seconds or not? Say no, I want to keep that message on there. And that's it. That's the same way you're going to work with the cancel button. But just do keep in mind the cancel button will not post this stuff to your SharePoint list, whereas the submit button will post this to your SharePoint list. So let's go ahead and let's look at our form. I've already pasted this embed code in on a WordPress page. So here it is. Let's refresh this page. And now you see my submit button. That's all there is working with the submit and cancel button widgets.